Oh, it's recording. Okay, let's go for it. You okay, Sergio? Yeah. Do you need to go to the toilet? Perdón? Do you need to go to the toilet? No, no, no. Okay. Sí, a veces este fin de tengo un rato y la subo a la subo, las tengo en el teléfono. All right, have a look at this sentence. How often do you? How often do you? For example, how often do you cook? ¿Con qué frecuencia cocinas? No os olvidéis del do you, ¿eh? Do you? How often do you cook? ¿Con qué frecuencia cocinas? ¿Con qué frecuencia estudias? How often do you study? How often do you study? ¿Con qué frecuencia haces deporte? How often do you do sport? How often do you do sport? Okay. So, what is do? What is cook? What is study? Verbs. Verbs, yeah? How often, con qué frecuencia, auxiliary, and the subject, yeah? Yes. How often do you? And then you say, I mm -mm cook. I mm -mm cook. I mm -mm do sport. I mm -mm study. Yeah, you have many options there. You can say, Yo siempre estudio. Yes, I go to the toilet. Yes, you can go. Go, go, go. Go, go. De hecho, aprovecho a deciros una anécdota. En otro de mis grupos había alguien que le estaba pasando algo parecido a Sergio. Por eso le he dicho, Sergio, ¿verdad? No, ya, ya, ya lo sé. Voy a contar la anécdota. Si quieres, escúchala. En otro de mis grupos había un alumno que le picaba mucho a la nariz. Le pica, le pica, le pica. Y al final se quitó la mascarilla, se la quitó entera. Y ya se empezó a rascar, a rascar, a sudar los mocos. Y ya se le escaparon tres o cuatro estornudos. ¡Hacher! 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 Todo esto sin mascarilla. ¡Hacher! ¡Ah, oh, perdón! Ya, y ya tos, ya para rematar tos. Y una vez ya lo soltó todo, ya se, se volvió a poner la mascarilla. Entonces ya a raíz de esa anécdota, digo, cuando veo que alguien le pica o lo que sea, digo o en general, ya os lo digo a todos, si os pasa algo recién, vais al baño, la quitáis, estornudáis, rascáis, sonáis mocos, sonáis, y luego ya volvéis con la mascarilla bien puesta. Eh, os es fatal, pero ya no solo por mí, sino porque entre vosotros, ¿no? No, no, yo soy responsable de, soy responsable, yo soy responsable de, la, de la seguridad sanitaria. Entonces, si alguien que está en el medio, como, como pasó el otro día, estaba donde está, donde está Inés, pues uh -huh. todos los de alrededor, yo sufro por vosotros. Claro. También porque el marrón me podría caer a mí. <risa> Yo otro día en casa, vaya <laughs> Okay, so I cook. Yo, yo siempre cocino. I always. I always cook. Yeah. Uh, I always cook. Yo never. Nunca estudio. I never study. I never study. Yo a veces hago deporte. I sometimes do sport. Yeah. Uh, normalmente cocino. Yeah. Casi nunca, casi nunca cocino. I hardly ever cook. So, what is the order? What is the order? First, subject. subject. Second, adverb. adverb of frequency. And third, the verb. The verb. So, the adverb of frequency goes before or after the main verb? Before. 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 
Quedaros el albedrío de frecuencia va antes que el verbo principal. ¿Ya? Ok, so far so good. Very good, very good, very good. Negative. Yo nunca cocino. Perdón, yo no siempre cocino. No siempre. Para negar, metemos el auxiliar aquí. I don't always cook. No siempre cocino. cocino. Yeah. Normalmente no cocino. I don't usually cook. Normalmente no cocino. I don't usually cook. Uh, esta se puede negar, ¿no? Don't always, don't usually. Esta sin embargo quedaría raro. Sí. Don't sometimes, don't hardly ever, don't never. Esta no. Esta se queda raro con el don't. ¿Vale? Se pueden negar las que están más por arriba en la frecuencia. Las positivas. Eso es. Las positivas se pueden negar. Ok. Esta no. Esta se queda raro. Ok. Pero en caso de que podáis negar alguna de estas, las positivas, I don't always cook. I don't usually cook. Don't va antes. Okay? Don't, other frequency, and then the verb. Okay. Now in the third person. In the third person. Ella siempre hace deporte. She always does sport. Ella a veces cocina. She sometimes cooks. Sometimes cooks. 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 Muy bien, y aquí quitamos ya el das. ¿Por qué? Porque la tercera persona ya está aquí. ¿sí? Ok, ella normalmente no cocina. Sí, y usualmente. Sí, usualmente. Sí, la tercera persona ya está aquí. Ok, ella no siempre estudia. Sí, la All right. So remember, yeah, negative, auxiliary negative, before the other frequency. So far so good? So far so good. All right. Can I erase this? Yes. 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 Okay. All right, I finished the explanation. Have a look at the next one. It says, uh, with the verb to be, yeah? With the verb to be. ¿Con qué frecuencia él llega tarde? Sería, how often is he late? ¿Con qué frecuencia él llega tarde? Él siempre llega tarde. He is always Late. He's always late. Él nunca llega tarde. Never. He is never. Never. never late. Él a menudo llega tarde. He is usually. Yeah. A menudo, yeah, often. He is often. I think often is a little bit more frequent. He is often late. Yeah. Ok. Él a veces llega tarde. He is sometimes late. Él yeah. casi nunca llega tarde. He is... Are they ever late? Ok. Now, if I say, if I say with ellos, yeah, in the plural, instead of he is, they are, yeah? They are. They are. And instead of late, I take the adjective worried. 
What is the meaning of worried? Preocupado. Yeah? Preocupado or preocupados. What type of word is this? Noun, verb, adjective, adverb? Adjective. Adjective. Yeah? This is an adjective. Ellos siempre están preocupados. They are always worried. Ellos a veces están preocupados. They are sometimes worried. So what is the order? The order is subject, verb to be, and what is this? Adverb of frequency, and then any adjective. So now, the question is, the adverb of frequency go after or before the, the verb to be? After the verb to be. Yeah. After the verb to be. Yeah. After the verb to be. So far so good. So far so good. All right. Now, what is the if I want to make it negative? Si lo quiero negar, puedo negar estos que son positivos. Ellos no siempre están preocupados. They are they aren't, or they are not. Yes, aquí meto la partícula negativa. They are not always worried. They aren't often worried. They aren't sometimes worried. Es que es un poco más rara. Yes, me por aquí. So far, so good. Okay, how would you... And then the other one would be he is, for instance. How would you make it uh, interrogative? Él siempre está preocupado. Is he? Very good. Is he? Ellos. Oye, ellos nunca están preocupados. Are they? Are they? Never. Never. Worried. So again, how do I make the? The interrogative sentence, I change, yeah? The usual thing, yeah? Subject and be, yeah? Where to be and subject, yeah? I change the order. And here, so we have subject, and after the subject, we have the? Adverb. Adverb of frequency. After the subject, again, I have the? Adverb of frequency. Frequency. <coughs> so far, so good. <laughs> Questions? que quiero, ya que he empezado la explicación, quiero terminarla. Si por lo que sea no hubiese tiempo de hacer el writing, lo hacemos el próximo día. No quiero cortar la explicación. No hay problema, ¿eh? Yo, de hecho, yo creo que si nos das el fin de para ahí, dale cañita. ¿eh? Ok, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see about that. Let's finish the explanation. Ok, how about, yeah, following the first question as before, yeah? How often, yeah? How often do you, mm, how often do you, mm, and then the verb. We said cook or study or whatever, yeah? Now, I, there's another option, yeah? I cook, blah, blah, blah. I study, blah, blah, blah. I do exercise, blah, blah, blah. So, I study, but, on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, Sunday. Every day. I study every day. I study on Mondays and Tuesdays. Twice a week. I study uh, in January, in February, in March, in April, in June. Every month. Okay. I cook. I cook on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Twice a week. Twice a week. The same one, yeah? 
I do exercise on Sundays. Once a week. Once a week. I cook in December. Once a year. Okay. What are these? Expression of frequency. Expressions of frequency, yeah. Expressions of frequency, yeah. Expressions of frequency. So we have the subject, we have the the verb and the expressions of frequency. So the expressions of frequency go after, sorry, go at the end of the sentence or at the beginning of the sentence? At the end of the sentence. At the end of the sentence, okay. At the end of the sentence. So once again, let's make it in the third person. In the third person, it would be? El estudia todos los días. He studies every day. Ella, uh, él, él cocina una vez a la semana. He cooks, he cooks once a week. Él hace ejercicio dos veces a la semana. He does, 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 he he doesn't study every day. He doesn't cook once a week. He doesn't cook once a week. He doesn't do exercise every day. Negative. Auxiliary. All right, so far so good. Any questions? No? Bueno, en interrogativa, en la expresión o frequency, también al final. Okay, yeah, good question. Question. ¿El estudia todos los días? Does he study? ¿El estudia todos los días? Does he study? Does he study every day? Okay. Uh, ¿El cocina todas las semanas? Does he cook every week? Does he cook every week? Oh, yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Um, ¿Tú estudias dos veces a la semana? ¿Tú? ¿Tú estudias? Do you? Do you? <laughs> Do you? Study. Once a week. Yeah, twice a week. If you study twice a week, again, yeah? Do you study? Again, expressions of frequency at the end. Expression of frequency, expression of frequency at the end. What do you change? Instead of he studies, does he study? You need the auxiliary. Do that, do that, yeah? All right, let me stop the video.